Hello ROS developers, welcome to a new video on how to develop with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Then ROS step by step and push your ROS learning with just 10 minutes of video. Hi, I'm Arif and today we are going to answer a question about how to dynamically tune navigational parameters using a graphical tool. But before we start, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy, where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required, and you will find the link to the academy on the video description below. Okay, so this video was actually inspired by a few questions like this one. Turtlebot navigation through narrow passageway. I'm trying to get my turtle bot to navigate its way through a pretty narrow path of about 48cm wide. I tried to solve the problem by adjusting, adjusting the inflation radius of all the parameters, the cost map common params, the global common cost map params, uh, local cost map params, but to no avail. The picture shows the error that I get when assigned a 2D and, 2D and so on and so forth. Uh, the turtle bot also goes into recovery action. So what's happening here is the robot is not going to a goal because it has to go through a narrow pathway. So the the uh, Rainer here is asking how can we um, tune the parameters? How can we modify or tune or tweak the parameters such that we can get the robot to go to where we want? Okay, so I'm highlighting here a few, some of the parameters that uh, is being mentioned in this uh, question. So there are robot radius, there are inflation radius. There's there's a few inflation radius in fact for cosmet common, for local cosmet, for global cosmet, and and let's look at another question on how to decrease obstacle area in cosmets. So now we are talking about obstacle area. This is another, in fact, another uh, parameter within the navigational navigation stack of ROS. So if this question highlights cosmap common params.yaml, and this is the file, this is the actual file. So there's a lot of parameters here. Max obstacle height, this. Uh, there's a few more parameters for obstacle layer. There's a, there's, there's a lot, in fact. There's, there's so many parameters. If you are familiar with the ROS navigation stack, um, at one point of time, I'm sure you, you would encounter these parameters. We have to tweak, we have to modify the parameters so that our robots could, um, perform better, could, could be more efficient in in its uh, navigation okay so now here here's the problem we have to we have we want to do some tweaking we want to do some tuning but look at the uh, answers okay so the answer say for example this uh, this answer says that uh, what you are looking for is robot radius you have 20 cm which is about blah blah blah, blah. okay uh, you can also tweak the cost map resolution okay the resolution so the answers will give us uh, the solution to what sort of parameters that we need to tune okay but how do we actually do this how do we really tune where do we find these parameters where can we find them and how do we tweak how do we tune look at this this is a lot are we supposed to change this number one by one, one at a time. Okay, so that, that is the reason for this video. I'm going to show you how to actually do this, how to actually tune and tweak the navigation parameters using a dynamic graphical tool, which is already built in, built in of the navigation stack in ROS. Okay, so let's go. For this, uh, I'm going to use the Robot Ignite Academy. 
uh, I'm, I'm going to use this course cross navigation in five days which is a fantastic course for learning about navigation everything about navigation is here so you should check it out okay let's open this up let's uh, wait for it to load it's loading okay good So again, this is uh, a course about ROS navigation. It is designed to be completed in five days, but really, it's it's really self-paced. So you can you can do it whenever you you have time or you want. Okay, and let's just let me just show you the table of content while the simulation is loading. Uh, it's going to cover about mapping. It's going to cover about localization, about path planning. There will be two two uh, parts for path planning and finally there will be a navigation project a project for you to do to uh, understand the subject better so i'm going to use this particular uh, simulation it's a turtle board a turtle board 2 oops inside a simulated uh, cafe this is actually a cafe okay all right so we are going to use this particular simulation. So what I will do first is to show you where are the parameters, uh, the navigation parameters that we are talking about. So I'm going to uh, raw CD into turtle board. Mm, I think it's turtle navigation. Gazebo. Let's see. Ah, it's inside this param folder. So let's go into there. All right. So these are all the parameters, uh, the param files. Um, so like we have we have heard about Cosmap common params, uh, DWA local planner params, global Cosmap global planner. Okay. So let's just let's say we look into uh, this one just to have a look so this is just one of the files which is the DWA local planner params this is the local planner okay for, for our robot so there are maxwell x min well x maxwell y min well y that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot that's Path distance bias, pull distance bias. Okay, there's many of them. So if you want to change, if you want to change these manually by hand, uh, so you can open up the file, open, use use the IDE to uh, edit, and then save it in your workspace and uh, modify your launch file to get it from your own workspace. Okay, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So what we are going to do is first I will launch uh, move base. I'm going to get our robot running up and running. So it will be post launch total port uh, navigation visible move base demo. Right? Total port navigation visible move base demo. Okay, on the next, on the second uh, uh, shell, I will run an RVs instance. So let's launch the uh, bot. RVs launches. We want to view uh, navigation. Dot launch. Okay. So this will open up our VIS, so we need this graphical interface. Let's open this. Okay, it's loading our VIS, good. Okay, so now I'm going to hide this. And let's change the layout a bit. To see more of the uh, simulation, 
So that's the robot in the middle. The service on, alright. Service is up. Let's maximize the window again. Okay, we can close this part. Can make this part a bit smaller. Okay, so that's our robot. And you can see all those oops, all those tiny green arrows. Uh that's the AMCL working, trying to localize the robot. Okay, let me just uh orient the view better. Okay, so now um we we can we can start to send goals for example we can we can do to be enough goal uh robot go here okay the robot will do the planning and let's tell you this uh, rainbow colored um square is actually the local cost map the 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 whole thing is the global cost map um yeah, so the robot can move now, alright? So in a typical navigation application, this is what we do, okay? Uh, we give goal, uh, we, we, we do post estimate, we give goal, and the robot will go to where we want to go. Alright, so uh, the question now is, how can we um, tweak the navigation parameters? All the parameters is now. Uh, the parameters that we have seen ah so yeah the robot is moving the actual robot is moving as well of course so how do we tweak all these parameters that we have seen here just now okay so the answer is to use rqt reconfigure so cross run rqt reconfigure rqt reconfigure Okay, so this is actually um, just to run the dynamic configure package of ROS and the navigation stack, um, move base, uh, AMCL, G mapping. They 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 have they have built in uh, dynamic configure already. So that's why we can do this. That's why we can. Do it perfectly. So when I ran RQT reconfigure just now, it's going to open up this particular um, window. Okay. So this is what we are going to use. This is our graphical tool. Okay. So let's take this. Let's arrange the window a bit so that we can see everything. Okay, alright, so this is RQT reconfigure. So, where are the parameters? It's just here. Okay, so let's say we click on AMCL. So, there you go. These are all the parameters available. All the parameters that we can tweak, we can play around, we can try and test which, what number is the best. Okay. So let me just uh, show you some examples. Uh, not AMCL. Okay, we we've seen um, uh, some things like in Ross answers is now we've seen things like inflation radius. Yes. Okay. So where is this inflation radius? It's in. It's under move base. It's under global cost map. So there's a few. Okay. Under global cost map, there is the global inflation layer. Okay. So, ah, uh, let's really see the, the right thing here. Oops. So, let me rearrange this. Again, all 
right so that we can make this bigger this window make it bigger longer okay so now it says this is inflation radius for the global cost map so now it is at 0 0.5 meters which is 50 centimeters meaning okay so this is the uh, inflation radius okay so now it is at 0.5 meters so we can tweak this let's let's make it small 0 0.1 which is 10 centimeters so watch closely watch closely this is going to change okay so wait for it there you go it changed there and then you change you you, you tweak the number it changed immediately you can put any number and we see the effect immediately so you don't have you, you can do it dynamically you don't have to stop you don't have to stop this you don't have to uh, rerun anything you just tweak and test okay so let's say i put it like something like that 0.87 i can still run this the total bot will still move the robot will still move okay so let's see a few more parameters what else do we have um, let's look at the local planner DWA local planner so this is uh, the one which I show you in the, in the shell just now max transvel min transvel max well x y there's so many so many so imagine if you are to change all these parameters one by one inside a config file a yaml file and have to rerun the script every time it's going it's not going to work so this is the way to go you open up rtt reconfigure and you can do this dynamically you can change this you can write oops what's happening It's hanging now. So again, okay, you you can drag the the slider. There you go. So you can drag the slider. You can type in the number. You can uh, oops, not zero point fine. Okay. Um, you can try this, try that, and test it straight away. No need to, no need to stop. And the best thing is you can save. You can click here to save. You will save as a YAML file. And then once you have saved it, in your next session you can reopen. You can load it back into your application. Okay. So that's all. That's all. That's all from me for this uh, this video. In the description of the video, you will find a list of all the resources mentioned in this video. Okay, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your uh, friends. Uh, and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Peace out.